But you know what else is going to be sick? Three, this two, match. One, we got go. Pokelam versus Jagron. We get the run back coming back for losers Ooh, finals. Uses the grab immunity to just invalidate that Lloyd Rocket. Super smart. I feel like he has to do like a lot of more tricks like that if he wants to keep those at, at bay by this ledge. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The name of the game is definitely not letting Villager set up shop because if Villager has the space to set up these Void Rockets and Slingshots, it's going to be very difficult to just get past it. And you would think a small character like the Ninja. Yeah. A small a and fast character. Yeah, but... Oh, well, he dashed under that slingshot for sure, but the Lloyd Rocket definitely kind of, like, sets him in his place. Because you, you can't low-profile that move. That move, yeah. like, flies across the ground. Yeah, and I wish you could low-profile it, but it just, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. Ooh, oh, my goodness. So, Jago, uh, I feel like he's doing a lot better in this game than he was in the last one. Oh, yes. no, he messed up the confirm. Oh. He recognized that he couldn't duck under it, so he just committed to the shield. Even though he tried to parry him right yeah. at the end. Because the thing about Lloyd Rocket, if you don't already know, is that as it's moving through the air, it actually progressively moves slightly more down. Oh, I thought you could. I thought he could angle that. Is it angling? I thought you could control the angle it goes. That's what I always thought. I just, I just assumed it would move slightly down. Probably does move slightly down, or I'm tripping. Either way, Pokemon really committing to these like low hitting projectiles and he just gets that down smash into up smash and he's taking the stock and he's already at the ledge. Call him John Numbers. Ah! <laughs> yeah, man. Oh my Ooh, god, that's what a barely killing. Yeah. I don't think he was ready to get hit by that down smash. I wasn't ready to see him do, do it either. Yeah. I definitely feel like that was a missing book coming out from the Pokemon Lab. He's putting it down so you see a four there come out. Said he hit uh, hit the bear. Man, I've definitely seen a much a much stronger showing from Jagron compared to the last couple of games, where it all seemed like it was in a Pokemon Land control. Yeah. Oh, good nair. Nice nair. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hits him with the axe. Slicing, slice again. That axe is so quick and powerful. Yeah, man, no way a small child is pulling out an axe like that. Like, that's that's illegal. Just gotta be careful here. Ooh. I have to find a way off the ledge nice and safe. Oh. And up tilt. Catches the roll in. Right with the little conductor rod. <laughs> Let's stick. Pop, pop. How is he gonna make it past you? Oh, good counter, but fortunately doesn't get much off of it. Not at all. Oh, oh, but he reads the tech away. Yeah, good catch there. Tries to do it again. Pokelam using the the reverse pocket actually to kind of like slide through that that little uh, area of space that Jake Run just wasn't occupying. Doing it again. It actually has a bit of intangibility on it, so it actually can like pass through certain uh, moves. Also, up smash with intangibility. Oh my god! Oh no, I meant the pocket. Oh, the pocket. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I meant up smash for a second. <laughs> it, it's a pretty good tool for villager to kind of mix up his momentum and get out of disadvantage. I was watching uh, Elan do that in a couple sets before, and set against the Samus from earlier, who was doing that. Mm -hmm. It's especially good in zoner matchups because it's like. You could either get out of disadvantage, or you might actually like Take doink, doink something. Yeah, this character was definitely was definitely is oh, the menace there's the ball. society. For there's another one. Find his way through. Lee Lam was ready for that with that up smash. Tried to catch him gliding through the air, and that Lloyd Rocket goes so far. Ooh. He's just pressuring this platform right now, chasing him all the way up there. I'll tell you, I see something I noticed that Jagron does a lot of Greninja's do not do. He will chase. He does not stop. He's like a shark smelling blood in the water. Yep. Oh, no oh, way! Oh, no. Was, did he try to down tilt? He tried to down tilt uh, Elam, but uh, he, he chopped the tree at the same time and just... Yeah, man. 
Got a, got a whole, whole lot of pine just falling on top of him. Yeah, man, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so let's see what we're gonna get right here. Did we see a stage switch? Are we still on PS2? We might still be on PS2. Although I didn't look, so. Oh, we are on PS2. We are. The neutral stage. The neutral stage. I'd have to imagine maybe Pokalim is banning stages like, you know, FD. Or Greninja can kind of just like rush down Villager uncontested. Well, what else would like Villager want to do? Maybe like FD would be another stage that uh, would like Greninja would want? Maybe. Not FD, um, po Kalos, Kalos. Kalos. Um, possibly. Not too sure, but either way, we're back here on PS2. Sets up the tree, shooting some slingshots. Yeah, man, just kind of, I want to say he's all over Jagrun, but he's definitely like, you can see like the control that Elan wants to establish yes. is definitely coming into play right here. I feel like even though it's like pretty even, it, it's more or less being played at the pace that Pokemon wants to play. 100. And and Jake Grunt, like, very much needs to, like, I don't know, break that sort of mold. And right now, he, he's doing very well. Oh, yes, he is. You keep it. Like, a lot of this game has been being played at the ledge. As Jake Grunt is out here keeping him here. Yeah. Making him pay that rent. Oh, this is the grab. <gasps> oh, oh, that goodness. was scary. If, if. He committed to anything there. He would have extended his hurt box and got hit by that, but yeah, gets that down to the forward air and he just takes the stock. Right now, I think this is the first time Jigren has had a sizable lead like this against Pokalem. Yeah, man, up a whole stock. First time today. Let's see how he holds this momentum. Kind of carefully waiting for Pokalim to just throw out his options, but fortunately gets pushed off stage. Lands on the plat, commits to the shield. Knows it's not gonna break shield. Nice. Ooh. Oh, he's bouncing. <laughs> that means jumping. Putting him in the bouncy castle, man. Oh. Those poor Lloyds. Not getting a chance. Again, look at that. Look how Jago is like slowly pushing uh, Elan back to each every every single corner yep. of the stage. Bro. Going to the left now. Not, get, not giving Elam a chance to establish oh. the safe control he loves so much. Ooh, down to up smash and not doing it just yet. Not doing it just yet, but that's still a lot of damage. Alright, grab resets. Ooh. Fights his way back onto stage. Gets back. Definitely oh, making he's the throwing out these pivot mistake. grabs. This is a, such a this is looking like a such better game. That last one. Always got to be carefully set up the tree. He starts jabbing. My man swinging. He just started swinging on him. Uh oh. Ooh, that's scary. Good that counter. Ooh, oh that my counter God. was was ruthless. That was crazy. And right now, Jake run up two stops. This 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 is the momentum he's he's been needing. Yes, sir. Such a more yeah, he is, such he a is, better position. He is not slowing down either. Like even though he is on death's door, he is like, what have I got to lose now? I'm just going to keep swinging. I'm going to keep the pressure going and racking up his damage. He's at 171, but Pokemon now on 61% of his last stock. I give him a chance. Ooh, you see, you see they go for a forwarder at that dash attack. And this is this is where Greninja really shines. When he has this kind of a lead and this kind of momentum, he can just kind of like throw throw stuff out and. Just and like that Shadow Sneak, uh, a little unopportune, but you know what? When you're up that much, sometimes you just gotta, just gotta do it. Just gotta do it. And Let the buttons fly. Confirmed off that? I guess so. Oh. What the heck? Right now, Pokalim playing with a decent bit of momentum right now. Just racking up the damage. Jake Run's already at 60. That F Smash was super scary. Well, I definitely would have taken the stock, but uh, for sure, uh, Jago was still in here. And a lot of times where Jago was shining in this match was a lot of times when uh, had Eli, yeah, the Pokemon uh, staying all, spending all the time at the ledge. Yeah. The ledge trap from Jago was that it? something. Nah, oh, not it's enough percent. It. All right, Jago looking for another time to get like 
get one confirm, maybe a down throw forward or a dash stack or a dash stack back here. Oh, gets or that F-tilt. Push some right up stacks Ooh. and the catches the Yo. pocket. You gotta wait for that pocket to expire. I guess he anticipated Jay Grunt to just throw out a mini shuriken and not to charge it, but Jay Grunt's like, hold this. <laughs> Charges all the way up and takes Set that your game. stock, I need that. And he had he had two stocks that game. A very clear difference from uh, previous sets. I think uh, Jinkro might have adapted a little bit to how Pokalim likes to play neutral and kind of in invading that space and snowballing with momentum. One hundred percent, sir. But if you remember, if you watched any of the other games from before, Pokalim was kind of like smoothing all, smoothing all over Jinkro, yeah. not allowing him to move, not allowing him to jump. He just smothered him. Like, yeah. put him in a coffin type of stuff. You Definitely. know, in a coffin, you can't really move. And that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what Pokemon did over there. <laughs> Rolls so, right. right past the setup. He's gonna ride the rocket. I'm just saying, yikes! Oh! Tosses the block of wood at him. Oh! Drag downs? We got those. That is on UC too often. Oh, down tilt. Nice. Waves. Uh, he had the right idea. But yeah, he was, he was anticipating way. like a neutral air dodge back to stage, but Pokalam just taking the right of the air. All right, uh -oh. oh. Not going for all these reads. Saved his jump and he caught the pocket again. I don't know if this is reactionary or... I feel like he's just predicting. Because a lot of times when uh, Pokalam's off stage, he would choose just to opt for the, shot, for the water shirt and just like, you know, stall his momentum and true, slow his descent. True. I don't know if it's worth it on Pokalam's end because it's like... Oh, the sour spot of the slingshot just... Boink. Pushing him a little bit into that blast zone. Right now, Jay Grunt working with his combo right now. Drag down into another up tilt, into an up air. Wonderful damage. He's accept. Already has him at 82%. Jay Grunt's looking so much better in this set. Like, yes, what? for sure. The game won't even happen? Ooh. Down throw back air. 114% on Pokemon Uncontested. Jay Grunt's really getting a lot of mileage out of this back air. He's able to just, like... Pushes aggression very quickly against Pokalim's villager. It's just Jaygrunt on the ledge is just so good. He's covering everything, and if Pokalim finds a way to escape, Jaygrunt is ready to like send him right back here. He's like a really good prison warden. Oh, that's it. Up to up there, pay B. Jaygrunt sitting with another two stock lead so far. Uh oh, uh oh. Punch, 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 punch. <laughs> Another thing too is Pokemon hasn't been hitting these bowling balls at ledge, which would be securing like very early stocks and Jigrun's just avoiding all of these like interactions that can really just blow him up. But the first one to hit. Yeah. It's like every you're you're absolutely right though. Pokemon has been kinda off with these uh with these bowling balls at the ledge and it's I feel like it's I think that's it. recovery. Yeah. Fried frog legs. The frog croaks on his lax stock now. Oh, good run up F-Tilt. Did he cancel F-Tilt? Oh, no. what stole him? Maybe going to find a way to put him back on the ledge. Cool. Neutral, he's not really beating him all too much. Yeah, right now, Pokemon has the momentum currently. And he's, and he's using this as a, uh, a manner to really set up shop once again. It's not something, as we said before, not not something you want to give Pokemon a chance to do. Yeah, he's like catching these jump ins, he's catching these dash ins. Jurgen's kind of like struggling a little bit to get in, and now he's at like a very high percent, and he needs to be careful. Find a way off the ledge and just find a way to put Pokemon on the ledge. Oh, a swing and a miss. Good parry. Can he find a way in to do his damage? Alright, it's ledge time. What's the option? It's get up attack, actually. Ooh. I think that's not something we've seen very often. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, isn't a, he's not swinging at the ledge. Oh, this could this could be Jacon's chance to steal this Ooh, another game. Oh, he's choosing to go high with the 
Void Rocket hits the Sour Spot of the Up back Smash into the it. back air. Oh, oh jump right into the Void it, Rocket. He gets hit by the Slingshot. Jacob throwing away his uh, Let's Trap and Chip. All his He's got to be careful. Up. And the upper doing it with Triple three turnips. turnips. But this is Luja's finals, which means this is a best of five set this time. We got another game, folks. We got another game. Or it could be two more games. It could be two more games. Seeing the same characters coming out for both players, just feeling same confident in what too? they can do. Yep, same stage. Same stage. I'm sure these players have played like tons of times, considering oh, yeah. they're both like grunt gangs, so they're probably like very like, you know, PS2, PS2. Or they just like they just want to know, or they, not want to know, but they probably know like what what stage or you know the boy wants to go to. Yeah. Oh my god. That was very scary. Every time Jago wants to like, overextend his combo a little bit, Pokemon is there with the Nair. Yep. Such it's a good, such a good combo breaker, man. Yeah, I believe it's like frame three. Oh, it's one of those Nairs. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those. Get off me. Kind of like it's a DP that that is not a DP. Oh, he saved his jump. God. Good on him. Such good, like, such good coverage with the Nair, too. Like, it's not. It is no rain. It is not really good on the range department, but <laughs> speed and knockback, yeah. Definitely using it very methodically. Jake Run has a mental ledge now. And that's usually where Jake Run has had a chance to sign the strongest. You see the frog, and don't be croaking on that ledge. He very much does not want to approach Pokalam when he has this tree set up. He's like, you come to me, sir. <laughs> not going to see him go deep for the, oh. for the back air. Oh, that was scary. Oh, down to Porter? No, That's not, not enough it. yet. Oh, hits him with the slingshot, anticipating him to drop off in back air. Oh, that was scary. All right, getting him off there. Oh, good counter. He was still in lag from doing that down tilt. And he just got hit by that uh, mm. substitute. Sets up another Lloyd Rocket, forces Jair Grump to kind of play on his back foot at this ledge, but right now gets momentum again, pushes oh, him man. off. Jair Grump at the ledge, bro, that is, that is a problem. <laughs> Jair Grump at the ledge is a problem. Yep. I don't think he's going to... Ah, that poke through his shield. Yeah. He has to, like, the goal. Oh, the yeah. pivot grab. Look at his nest. Yeah, man, had the right idea. That back throw definitely would have killed. Oh, but that forward is gonna do it. That's almost gonna do it. The thing about PS2 actually is that, despite it being a very long stage, the hello. Wow, the ledge to blast zones are actually really close on this stage. Oh yes, they are. They're really small. So if you're at ledge range and you get hit by something, you are going to die pretty early. Or at least more than average. I agree with that. All right, double nail to the jab. 28%. Oh. Whoa, it's good ninja. It's good ninja. Auto cancels it. And right now, Jay Grunt, like, I guess this is, I haven't been paying too much attention, but he's at three stocks to one right now. Yeah. He is sitting with a fat, fat lead. Ooh. Another counter on the Lloyd Rocket. Ooh, tries to catch him with the Shadow Sneak again down low, but... Pokemon just going too low for that. Now holding center stage again, but this is very scary for Pokemon here. He's got to choose his moments very carefully because he's got yeah, so much work to do here. He definitely was. He needs to just not find Ooh, this. Oh, and this is what he needs. He got like 40 damage off of that. He just needs to. All of them are getting hit by the tree, too. He doesn't have the most time in the world at 3 minutes and 20 seconds, but it's definitely enough to oh, get done what he needs enough. to do. It's just but a matter of execution. I can't say it'll be enough if he finds, his, if he finds himself sitting on that ledge again. Yeah, and here we are, man at the ledge. Or boy, I guess. <laughs> Young child stands Young on child. ledge versus frog. Grabs out a shield and... Ooh, oh, that shadow sneak! Impeccable DI. No. He hits that corner. 
every time he goes to the corner, he lives. That's what I just want to point out. Oh, air dodge is in, knowing the Lloyd rocket has got his back. Nice coverage and getting the grab. Ooh. This is very scary. Ooh. Find the way back is sending him off stage. Sets up the Lloyd rocket, gives him advantage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buries him. Oh, oh, he's down. He nice went match. for all of it. He was just like, if he doesn't match here, that's my stocking. <gasps> oh, Money Rides the Rocket is a lot more stronger. So Timber yeah. gotta be careful. Oh, that back here taking it with oh, all of that whoa, rage on Village. He is at max rage right now. Do we have a game? I think we do have a game, even though Villager can die at, at literally like Greenwich just sneezes on him. But this is still very doable. A mayor or forwarder will be the one to take this stock. Ooh. Or even a counter. Oh, he's he's in this situation again. Man at the ledge, and yep. there's the backer, and that's gonna take it. Jay Grunt bringing this set game to five a game five. Not what I expected to see. Jay Grunt is a very explosive player, and I feel like all he needs is that one moment to really like get in and push his buttons. And I, I, I think after he had lost to Pokalem a number of times, he, he kind of felt that, I don't really know where I was going with that, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he found a way, and he's been pushing aggression very well. Oh, 100%, I feel like, I also, I definitely sure you noticed that ledge trapping. The ledge trapping has definitely been like, the name of the game in the set for Jake Run. Keeping him on the ledge there and not letting not, not giving a chance for a land to like stab his control. Sets up La Tree. She's gonna go behind. Good oh. ants here with that arrow. Sheesh. Oh, counters the Lloyd again just to get out of that situation. Oh, that's a near starter. Oh, oh. Wasn't able to confirm it into the fair, but still decent damage. Far too high up for that. And there's the tree. Oh, he's ha he has the right idea with up smash, but he's just in the wrong place at the yeah. wrong time. Almost catching his jump high up. He's forgetting that the likes of Greninja if he can send this frog oh. to the moon. Another counter. Crushes the shield a little bit, but unfortunately gets hit by that up air. That's not going to take it. Not even. Are we going to see the back airs? Oh, he's, he's, he's full hopping. Or short hopping. Forget that Greninja short hop goes to damn high. Damn, man. This frog, he got legs. Doing it again? Okay. So counters to the right counter. and then counters to the left. Each oh, the he bounces everything. off the substitute. Why? And he wasn't in free fall? Good angle on Jake Runt there. The dynamic entry. Oh, jab block into dash attack into re reverse aerial rush back here. Oh! I have a dash that combo starter into the anti air up tilt. Right. Oh, Ooh, he didn't dead. have his jump. Oh, good back air. Oh, predicted a tech in place. Gets the jab oh. block into an up smash forward air. He's racking up a lot of damage now. A lot of damage, man. I think that stage five with the momentum he needed. Yeah. There, out of there. Oh, not sure what that was. Maybe he intended to dash up and do it, but so it just happened at the same time. For the for Ganesha mates to do a down tilt up tilt, they have to be running with the down tilt. So they have to be running down tilt into a, a run up up smash. Oh, I see. Oh, and back that backer almost, almost it. taking it. Is he gonna go off stage? No, he chooses to hold ledge. I have to find a way to take the stock. Both of them, really. 
Elan just continuing, continuing his game plan, man. Yep. Choosing to set up shop, forcing Jago to approach recklessly. This is this is so close. No no player wants to give too much momentum to the other. This is, this is the last game. This is the last chance to make or break in this set. Oh no! Oh, ooh, just swerves in a little bit. He's past it, and the four not doing it just yet. Not doing, doing it just yet. Oh, hits him with two slingshots. Seamlessly comboed into one another. That is kind of wild. Goes for another bowling ball. Sets up another tree. Chops it a bit. This is scary. Oh, I can't do this. Yeah, both of these guys holding on to the stock with dear life. It is crazy how neck and neck they are, and that, that pivot it. grab forward throw is going to do it. Forward throw, yeah. Jeez, how are we going to do this? Will Pokemon be able to take this stock quickly? Oh, Jay Grant have this man pay rent at the ledge one more time. Oh, close. He's going for these grabs. Cannot give it to him at all. Yeah, they'll just grab. They're Be almost slow. doing it? Wow. Just holding shield. He just wants this grab. 180, 190%. Okay. That back here is going to take it. And right now, pretty close to percents. Last stock, game five. But Jay Grunt with the momentum here. Just when he thinks he found the way off his ledge, oh, Jay Grunt is coming he's out He's grabbing saying, no. way too much. Way too much. Jay Grunt is not giving any of them to him. Okay. So oh. He's bobbing and weaving. Ooh. Barely oh, escaping the, the knock at that combo. score. Alright, Liam is putting the pressure onto Jay Grunt right now. Jay Grunt really just looking for that one kill go for him to get him to stock. Yeah. Down tilt up smash will definitely kill Villager at this percent. Or maybe even a dash stack forward air. I feel like from the way he's like the way he's positioning himself, it's like it's setting up for a dash stack forward air. He's pumping out like a lot of nares to just make sure he's keeping Jay Grunt's Greninja in check. Just like if don't like come at me like too quickly, because like I'll have that lingering aerial just out. Yes, you will. He's ready for it, oh. man. He caught his shoulder. He's fine. Oh my god, we got 46 seconds on the clock. Yo, I didn't even notice the time. I don't think it's actually going to go to time here because this next ledge interaction might be it. Might be it. How will Elon get off the ledge? Oh, I, I, I guess seamlessly. He, he just kind of gave it to him. And also, I want to point out for the last two games, Pokemon have been going for all these grabs and not a or at least this game. Do it!